So this is my solar water heater and it uses vacuum tubes and uh, I had it outside yesterday doing a bit of experimenting and uh, it's in the shop right now but I'm just going to show you guys something. So let's say it's back outside and the sun is in the sky kind of in the area where I'm at giving uh, good contact to the tubes. Consider the shape of the tubes and the little gap between the tubes. So as the sun changes position throughout the day you notice that the sun still has the same contact with the tubes regardless of position in the sky. You see that? So obviously it can get really extreme and then you know it's not going to be as efficient way out here but I mean overall it's a very good design for uh, capturing as much energy from the sun as possible. So I'm pulling the tubes out of the unit right now and I'm putting them back in the original box and it's probably a good idea to hang on to the boxes and the packaging. Really nice way to store these tubes. They're five wide and three high, so that's 15 in a box. But I got some questions about how do the tubes contact the water to transfer the heat. So here's the heat bulb on the end, and this actually never contacts the water at all. And I'm going to show you how these things are removed and then I'm going to show you what's up inside that uh, collector. So those plastic cups on the floor there, they just spin right out of their housing and then the uh, whole tube drops down. And uh, so up on top here in this manifold, I'm just going to shine a light in there and show you what's in there. You see that there's a copper sleeve up there? Well, that's where that heat bulb inserts into and that copper sleeve that is in its own tube which has the water. So the water contacts the tube, or sorry, the water contacts the sleeve and the sleeve contacts the heat bulb and that's how that heat is transferred. So even if I had one of the tubes broken it's no big deal because the water is not going to leak out. In fact the unit can still be running while the tube is out and it would just be down a little bit on capacity. So anyways guys, just had some uh, questions about the uh, how does the tube contact the water and uh, I was going to shed a little bit of light on that mystery there. So anyways guys, you guys are awesome. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks again.